Hi, this is Delene with McDonald's Sewing and Vacuum, and we often get questions about how to save an embroidery design off of a website to a USB drive, copy it to a USB drive, uh, so you can use it on your machine. So I thought I'd just show you one example today. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on a Windows machine with um, Windows 10 and uh, I'm using a Chrome browser. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your browser. Um, I opened it and went to one of my favorite sites called Creations by Kara, all, all with K's. <laughs> um, and she's got a sign up um, box that pops up. So I already get her I believe I'm already signed up for her email, so I'm going to close that. And I'm going to click on today just the freebies bin, uh, freebies section of her website. She makes beautiful designs, and the freebies here are um, absolutely wonderful. So um, to show you kind of how this works, this way I won't have to pay for something and show you all my personal pay information. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and download. These are the 2021 free designs. And as you can see, she's got them going back uh, for several years available here. So uh, I'm just going to go back to 2021. And I'm going to select the Febru February one. And uh, this often happens when you download a design from a website, an embroidery design from a website, it will download as a .zip file like that. Um, and I call them zip files. And what this is, is a compressed file. So it's taken it and made it much smaller so that um, you can download it faster. So what I do is I always download uh, new designs um, files like this into my downloads folder first. So I'm going to select the downloads folder and then I'm going to click on save. And in this version of Windows, what it does is it downloads it here and you can kind of see it in this little bar down here at the bottom. And it's already downloaded, so I'm going to click on it. And when you click on a zip file in Windows 10, it actually takes you to the compressed folder tools and I um, just go ahead and click on extract all and then I save all of my files in a patterns folder that I've created on Dropbox which is cloud storage but you can do this on your local machine you just need to always know where you're saving it so I like to click on the browse folder so that I know exactly where I'm going and um, I'm going to my patterns folder and in, in underneath patterns or within that folder I have an embroidery folder and I have one for a lot of different places where I from where I download things and this is how I kind of do it. Um, I have a folder for free designs so I'm going to open that select that folder and I'm going to extract this design into that folder. Okay and then what it does is it takes me into that folder and all of her designs are named with a KBK freebie. Um, I'm waiting, uh, I have the um, my Sonet software, or the Premiere Plus 2 software, both on this machine. And so because I have that installed, <clears throat> I'll be able to see a picture of the file here in a minute. It's You see this green bar here? It's refreshing. So I'm just kind of waiting for that to completely refresh the file so I can um, see this design that I've downloaded make sure it's there. Um, 
So I'm just filling time now. <laughs> what the, What's going to happen is that these little file folder or these little files right here with tulips on them are going to change to a picture of the design here in a minute. But it does take a little time for it to do that. So I have downloaded some other free designs of hers. You can probably see. I'm not sure which one this is going to be uh, showing up as. I'm thinking Feb Free, but I, yeah, this one, nope, that one's 2020. So maybe it is going to be January, February. Hmm. I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my cat, but she's meowing at me. She's not very happy right now. Um, because I came home and didn't feed her. Oh, here we go. It's KBK Feb Free 21. That's it right there. So we waited all that time, and here we're going to have to wait for it again to show up. But I'm interested in this VP3 file over here. And there it goes. So that's what it's going to look like. And so now if I want to save this to a USB drive, I need to put a USB drive in my machine. So I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to use one that I don't usually use for um, embroidery designs. But I'm going to put that USB drive on my machine. And I want to copy this one because it's, whoops, that was, that was my USB drive. So I'm going to go back to where I can see my design here. So I'm going to select this design and then I'm going to click up here on copy to. And then I like to choose location. So that way I know I'm putting it exactly where I want it. Uh, now, because I have Dropbox, that's what we're seeing first, so I'm going to minimize that. And what I'm looking for is this USB disk. It actually has a bunch of pictures on it right now, <laughs> so I'll probably delete it when I'm done. But all I need to do to copy that um, file, you can see I have it selected here. I'm going to copy it to this USB drive, and I'm just going to click on Copy once I have that selected. It's going to ask me if I really want to do this, and yes, I do. And so now it's copied it. Now you get to see all the other stuff that's on that drive. <laughs> and like I said, a bunch of old pictures. But down here somewhere, yep, there's going to be this file folder and or this file, and I've copied that file right here. Looks like I've uh, done that with another design at one time. So there you go. All I have to do now is take out my USB drive. I do want to show you one thing to do. Um, there are a couple ways to do this. I like to eject my USB drive before I take it out of my machine. And what that does is it just closes all the folders on your USB drive in a safe way. So one way to do that is to click on this little um, carrot or upside down V right here in your uh, toolbar down at the bottom and then click on this little USB drive right here and click on eject device. Uh, I want to show you another way to do that. You can also come over here to the left, find your USB drive and right use the right click on your mouse and click on eject. So there's at least two ways to do that. I'm going to go back over and do it this way because it's kind of a quicker way of doing it. And so what that's going to do is close everything down. Um, it's taken me back to the file folder that I had open. Uh, so I save everything into my Dropbox so I can access it anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And that was the extract folder. And now I can take that USB drive that I copied it to and take it over to my machine. Um, I do want to show you one more thing. If you have uh, my Sonet on your computer and on your uh, sewing machine, there's another way 
you can do this. So this is for um, people with an Epic 1, Epic 2, a uh, Brilliance 80, or a Sapphire 85. Um, what I'm going to show you next is I'm going to copy this file. I'm going to go back to where I saved it, which is under Patterns and Embroidery. And I saved it in my free file, free designs. And it was in the, this one, KBK February Free 21. It stands for 2021. And here's the file again. So what I'm going to do is, get, is select it one more time by clicking on it. And then I'm going to click on Copy To again, again, which is up here. Click on Copy To. And because I have my Sonet Cloud, um, set up on my computer, I can copy it to that folder. And then when I go to my embroidery machine, it will be there waiting for me. Okay, I think that's about all I have to show you on that today. If you have any questions, give us a call or come in and see us and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks.